Scott Morrison could barely contain his disappointment and anger that many young Australians have ignored the government's plea to observe the new catch cry, social distancing. This again since yesterday. So today is day five of the state of emergency in Lisbon. State of emergency everywhere, I guess. Um, it's Monday the 23rd of March. And yes, I figured out a way of uh, stationing the, the phone, which is filming me at the moment without having to hold it up with my hand. I'll show you my setup. Uh, it's quite simple, but um, I hadn't thought of it. It's around noon and the numbers, the Portuguese numbers come in uh, around this time and of the virus as well as death. So the numbers today um, are 2060 of confirmed cases and 23 deaths in total. Um, next door in Spain, the deaths are becoming quite frightening, the rate, rate of death. Uh, so, yeah, pretty frightening. A beautiful spring day here. Back in Australia, my family is well, last I heard. My sister-in-law has a, um, my nephew, a young, a young boy. Uh, he's five years old. He's um, got a cough and the temperature. The thing is... Whether it is a virus or not, it's best to assume it is a virus. Finally, closed bars and restaurants and such. There was no mincing words when the Prime Minister laid out strong new orders for the way all of us are to live for many months to come. It's going to be very different. With a nationwide shutdown of cafes, cinemas, bars, casinos, places of worship and pubs from midday tomorrow. Cafes and restaurants will only be able to sell takeaway. Scott Morrison could barely contain his disappointment and anger that many young Australians have ignored the government's plea to observe the new catch cry, social distancing. They're quite alarmed because the numbers jumped from 60 confirmed cases yesterday to 319. Hi friends! Welcome to my channel, I'm Isabel. I hope you're enjoying this series of videos I filmed in Lisbon. I am now back in Australia, as you can probably guess. Yes, I made it back home, but not without lots of adventures along the way, including my two weeks in hotel quarantine in Melbourne after I got back to Australia, which I also filmed. So be sure to subscribe and come back and watch those videos as I upload them. So take care and see you next time. Meanwhile, Emirates cancelled my flight. I received their email about cancellation late yesterday. They have cancelled all passenger flights, Emirates has. Uh, and yes, and the Prime Minister in Australia, not the Prime Minister, the Premier in Queensland is considering, I was going to say, considering closing the, the borders of Queensland. That's not actually not right. They are going to close the borders in Queensland from Wednesday. Yeah, it's going to get a little bit tougher for me to get back into Australia. Um, for a little while until it eventually will get easier. I will get back. It's just going to take a little time. 
And I think it's actually a good measure that borders are becoming less porous. You just want to have confirmed places in one place. Uh, so a beautiful spring day, as I said, I woke up this morning to not just the sunny sunlight coming in, um, streaming into my bedroom and all through my various windows, but I woke up with noise from the work site. So the work site around here, <laughs> across the lane, is going on. There are people working. There were, um, you know, you can hear hammers and saws, uh, electric saws, that is, and uh, they keep working. So I don't know how long they will continue working. I mean, it's all very well for me to say, oh, it's great to see other people working. They are working with masks because they're working close well, most of them are working with masks, not all of them. I'm just looking out the window and I just saw a plane flying. It's also a great sign. So yesterday I went for my uh, walk. It was a, not as long. I didn't take a, a very long walk. I had walked in place here quite a bit. I'd done about 5,000 steps in place in here in the apartment. I knew that I didn't need to go for a very long walk. It was very quiet yesterday. Yesterday was a Sunday, which is a quiet day anyway, but yeah, very quiet. I stayed in residential streets as much as I could because I'm increasingly aware of the people that I see on the streets. They're homeless people mainly, or you do notice them a bit more now. As I keep saying, homeless people are not criminals, but you, you don't know to what extent they are becoming increasingly desperate. Quiet streets are a little bit riskier than usual, so I'm staying in residential streets. And so mostly people will be at home. Well, everyone is at home, so if I scream, hopefully someone will hear. Because I live very close to downtown, and downtown, uh, well, it does have some residents, but it's mostly, you know, banks and commerce, so a lot of all that is closed. So I always go towards the river. I only saw the river at a distance this time. And then I sort of walked back. I didn't go to the supermarket even though it was closed and as far as I could see completely empty. At least there were no queues outside the supermarket waiting to get in because as I said, they don't let in too many people at once. They want to have the supermarket fairly empty so that you can keep social distancing. So there I went. Um, it was uh, an enjoyable walk, it was a beautiful sunny day, and I came home, and then um, I did watch quite a, uh, a few things on my laptop. I still have the internet, oh, thank goodness. If I didn't have the internet, I would have to be reading books, and I do have a lot of books, but somehow the internet just gives you that extra sense of connection because you can keep up with what's going on in the world at the moment. So. Um, I finished my uh, David Sedaris masterclass on the masterclass site. I've talked about uh, masterclass in a previous video. It's a fantastic site. You do have to pay for it, but it's completely worth it if you're interested in writing, in filmmaking, in cooking, just about anything you can think of. They have excellent masterclasses. They're given by world-class writers such as David Sedaris and world-class interior designers. So yeah, after David Sedaris, I did the Kelly Wurstler masterclass, or I started it. So fun. Her masterclass on interior design, it, it really makes you aware of how, if you have a unifying vision of what feels strongly to you, as long as you have a unifying vision of colors and materials and, you know, a handkerchief, the pattern on a handkerchief can it be an inspiration. And from that, you can build a vision of what you want to create. Uh, it's very invigorating seeing, seeing how she works. Uh, great escapism for me because I am learning a little bit, I guess, about color and harmony and how to work in a space and the harmony and composition and energy and unity of vision all those things they are terms that are relevant to all arts all across the board visual arts and 
musical arts, <laughs> word arts, poetry and uh, storytelling arts, filmmaking. Anyway, I enjoyed it, but I felt myself falling to sleep. So, <laughs> so I... thing that I did while I was having dinner and my dinner last night was five slices of bread, three with cheese and two with butter. It wasn't the best dinner. I'm not saying that I need any more nutrition than just one good meal a day, which I am having. I'm having one good hot meal a day. And so the rest of the time, you know, I'm not growing. I'm not doing that much exercise. I don't really need to have that much food. But uh, bread and cheese and butter, it, it wasn't fantastic for me because I'm, I'm intolerant to too dairy, uh, not very intolerant, but intolerant enough that by the time that I went, <laughs> that I went to bed, I could I could feel that my stomach was not in its best shape. Nonetheless, it was quite enjoyable, very easy to make slices of bread with cheese and butter. And while I was eating, I was watching a tutorial on YouTube about iMovie, which is the program that I'm using on um, my. Um, Apple laptop, my, what's it called? It's a, it's a, it's a laptop and it's a Mac and um, it comes with iMovie. I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. Um, they all come with, um, uh, with the iMovie software and it's a fantastic software because you can make, you can make films, you can edit them. And I knew the very basics because I had tinkered with iMovie before. And when I started editing this first video that hasn't uploaded yet, that's another story, onto YouTube. I've been trying for three days to upload it. It's at the moment at 0% because I cancelled it and I cancelled it several times. And every time that I try to re-upload it, it looks as though I won't be able to upload any of my videos until, I don't know, maybe until I get back to Australia. And so that's okay. I was saying that the way that I will be, that I already edited that first uh, uh, video, which is over 30 minutes long, about the first day of the state of emergency, which looks a bit like this video. In fact, it looks a lot like this video because here I am on my sofa talking to you. I knew that I knew the, enough I was refining my learning through just looking at the YouTube tutorial on iMovie. So I learned a few extra tricks. So that's great. I mean, it didn't take me that long. I mean, it was 30 minutes long. It was very thorough uh, tutorial. It was still a tutorial for beginners, but it was pretty thorough. And I learned quite a lot of tricks that I will be applying. So yeah, YouTube is an incredible source of just great tutorials for just about anything that you can think of. And so why not make the most of that, assuming that you're on your own and you don't have to take care of young ones and young ones even, uh, well, especially when they're at home, not able to get out, they need a lot of our attention, don't they? So um, you're probably very busy if you have young people and children uh, at home, uh, busier than usual, I would expect. Um, but so I recommend it. I recommend it going on YouTube and upskilling on something. You'll find tutorials on anything, even on creative writing. I mean, you know, or if you want to take the opportunity now to write your, um, your fantastic book, the book that we all have in us, they say. I'm pretty sure we have more than one book in us. Um, and and uh, a memoir and a fiction novel. And um, I'm rambling, I know, but I don't care. 
I think that as long as I'm talking and I have this sense that there's someone out there listening, I'm going to go back on my laptop to see what else I plan to talk about today. Today I'm just going to actually do some editing because that's the kind of thing that if I let it, if there's too much of a backlog on editing, uh, then it, it just gets a bit out of control. And then if, if I get to upload the videos, I do, and if I don't, I don't. Eventually I will upload the videos even if it's in a, a month's time or in three weeks time or in two weeks time when hopefully I'm back in Australia with my with my people. And I just bought a book on Kindle on my Kindle app in my uh, laptop. The latest book by Lydia Davis. Lydia Davis is my one of my favorite writers. She's She writes stuff that really is to my taste. Literary fiction and just this interesting wry humor. Uh, she doesn't take anything seriously and yet she takes everything seriously. This book is called Essays and I'm really looking forward to reading it. So I have it on my Kindle now. I've got a lot of other things to read as I keep saying. I've got all, the whole of the New Yorker archive which I subscribe to and the Paris Review archive, not to mention the news that keep that keep popping on my screen in my laptop. Oh no, the latest news in Italy and all that sort of thing. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow at more or less the same time, around noon. I'll be uh, preparing a meal today. I'm not sure what I'll eat. Maybe I will eat the meatballs today. And you will have a photograph of that right now. And yes, I'll be enjoying my meal at lunch, which is when I do enjoy my uh, hot meal, is in the middle of the day. Stay safe, and I'll see you tomorrow.